how to create content for Instagram using Canva. Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm showing you how you can create high quality professional posts for your Instagram using canva.com for free. So let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is you're going to go to canva.com and you will land on this website here. Canva is a designing tool that allows you to create Facebook posts, Instagram posts. Then we can even, you know, design logos. We can create presentations, edit videos. We can create t-shirt designs and do much, much more. So Canva is all in one tool. And the best thing is that we can actually try it out for free. So I'll be actually using the free version today because I don't want to complicate things for you. And I'll show you how I create like these aesthetically pleasing Instagram posts uh, just in minutes using Canva. Let's get into the process. Once you get to canva.com, uh, you can either go to the custom size here and you can add your custom size, your width and height. And you can select if you want to go for pixels, inches, CM, like in height and width. So you will select the size here. Or what you can do is you can actually make it easier for yourself and you can just search for Instagram post here. Now, there are different types of Instagram content, right? We have Instagram post, we have Instagram stories, now we have Instagram reels. So I'll actually show you all of these. Let's say first I want to create a square post for Instagram, which is going to be 180 by 180. So we can select this one and it will directly take me to some of the templates available on Canva. We have a lot of different templates available that are in different niches, in different categories, different uh, layouts, different styles, color schemes, everything. So we have, you can see, more than 400 templates, 400K templates here, which is amazing. So now you can see, I can either go with the template here or I can create a post of my own. Today, I'm actually uh, creating something like a you know chill post so what i'm gonna do is it's gonna be like a static post with like nude scheme so for that i can either go with the template or start from the scratch so if you want to start from the scratch you just click on create blank so this is a square post um and at this side of the screen on canva we get our designs elements template styles upload text draw and more so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the upload section and this is where you'll upload your images and your videos as well if you are editing, um, you know, a reel or a story. So uh, this is where you'll upload your post. You can see I already have uploaded some of the images. And yes, this is the image that I want to post. So uh, what I will do is I'll go with this one. And you can see my post will be added. Now I can add this like simple post on Instagram. But if you are like me and you have like an aesthetic page, then we need to do some of the editing for the post. Or if you want to create an ad or something like that, so you will have to do the editing here. Once you have added your post, you just click it and it's added. Then you can adjust where you want to put it. If you want it to be like at the top here or in the center. So what I'll do is I'll actually keep it to the top a little bit because I will be writing here and I have added the post. Now this is our background. I want to change the background color. So select the background color and now it's giving me the color palette within my image. I'm going to select from here and I think this is the uh, color that I want to go for or maybe this one. Uh, this one is too dark so let's go with this one. Perfect. Now I'll go with the text because I want to add a text to my post. But we'll keep it super chill so that it's not that obvious. Uh, we can either go with a simple text or we can go with some of the template text here. But I'm just going to go with the subheading so that it's not that big and not that small either. So I have added my, uh, you know, text here. We'll customize it and I'm going to change the font. And the font is going to be italic. I'm looking for something italic. A lot of free fonts are available so you don't have to worry about it. And we're just going to scroll down to find an Italian font or something like that. And I think this one is it. Oh, perfect. So now I'll adjust my text and we'll place it here like this. I will change the text color and we'll give it the orange color that we have in our, you know, post. Let's actually change the font because let's change this one and check out some of the others. Okay. So this one looks like more, you know, classic and vogue. So we're going to go with this one and I'll place it here. Okay, perfect. 
Now, if I want to add different elements, we'll just go to the elements. And here, I'm going to search for flowers. We're going to go to the graphics. And I'm looking for this. Perfect. And I'll place it here. Now, you can see this is a post that I created with Canva. And this actually looks really good. These are the kind of posts that you see on Instagram on different ad pages. If you have a business page, then this is how you will add your products. Let's say you sell bag. If you have an aesthetic Instagram page, then you will use these kind of, you know, aesthetics to it. If you have, a, you know, a brand, then you can use and edit your photos like this. These are going to be the simple posts on Instagram that play an important role. When it comes to creating stories and reels as well, then I will actually quickly show you that. And we're going to go back to our canva.com dashboard. And this time, what we can do is we can go to the template section and we can search for Instagram Reel or Instagram Story. So I'm going to go with Instagram Reel. And here we have our Reel templates available. So you don't even have to do a lot when it comes to creating Reels. You can use any of these, you know, templates from um, a Canva. For example, you can check this one out. This one is looking really good. This is a reel and you can see different scenes and each scene has this text and it has like these, you know, different uh, transitions and you can use a template to save your time. Pack order with me. Here we have one of the other templates. Okay, let's check this one out. Okay, so we have the text. Then we're getting these cool transitions. Okay, different scenes. And now you can see a simple packing reel is looking really static and pleasing. Okay, this one here as well. This is a reel template for different images. This is like a scrapbook type of template. And you can use this one. Once you go to the canvas, it will look like it will look the same. And you can just insert your media into it. Click on customize template. When it comes to editing a video or a reel within uh, Canva, the canvas is quite the same that we get here. Only uh, at the bottom here, you will be able to see that we have different scenes and you can switch between the scenes really easily. So you can work on the first scene. And then here we have the duration. Again, you can change the background color. You can animate text. You can animate the um, you know scene here. When it comes to using a template, you'll just customize the different elements to it. For instance, if you wanted to change the text you can do that and if you want to change like you know uh, the image here so that's very simple just go to your uploads and select the image from your computer or you can just add the image that you already had so let's go with the same image so let's say i want to go with this one so i'll just replace the image and it will be added here then we have this background uh, let's change the background as well and for my background i'm gonna go with this and there you go this is what it looks like now. And now I can even customize the text color to completely change the template and make it my own reel. So this is how you can design your content using Canva.com. It's an amazing platform and you should give it a try if you still haven't tried Canva.com. Um, now Canva even has its AI tools that help us a lot. So go ahead and check it out right now. And all I did, I used all of the free, you know, tools within the Canva. So uh, this is what you can do for free. I hope that I was a big help to you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Turn on bell notification and subscribe to YouTube channel.